What's happening everybody? It's your boy Pizza and welcome back to NFL Top Plays week number two of the NFL season. Week one, a little bit disappointing. I know a lot of people mentioned it, but this week, aside from all the ACLs that got torn, it was a pretty good week for top plays. One last thing, remember, if you like this series, I'm putting a ton of time and effort into it. So if you wouldn't mind taking a second, dropping a like and saying, hey, come out with a week number three, four, five, six, and so on. It would mean a lot. I'm going to keep things at that. Now, because there are 10 top plays, this one shouldn't be too hard to recreate, but I thought that it had to make the cut. This is going to be Harrison Bucker iced out three made field goals in a row. 53, 58, 58. I mean, you could see it in this guy's eyes. He was more iced out than Lamar with his chain. He was more iced out than an Eskimo in an igloo. Heck, I don't care. I'll say it. He was more iced out than an ice cube. <laughs> Yeah. All right, first kick, 53 cards. 53 cards. What am I talking about? All right, first kick, 53 yards. Remember, I have to make all three consecutively for the challenge to count, but it shouldn't really be that tough. Kick number one from 58. This is where he got iced at, but he said, hey, it doesn't matter. Wait, can he not hit from that? So help me if that hits off the back bar. You're joking. Where is the respect at? For Harrison Butker. I'm not touching our kicker, but field goal power. 55. Hey, Madden. Really? You need to fix this immediately. That's our one from 53. These 58s that he was kicking, he's booting these from 65 yards out. Did I just miss it? No, wow, I didn't. Okay, so that's two. Again, that was the one that he got iced on. And then three to win the game. I'm shanking these. I don't know why it's giving me it. Let's go ahead and roll the replay for our boy Harrison Butker. Right now, no energy left for anybody on this field. The kick. It's good for the win. Up next, play nine, Aaron Jones, 75-yard touchdown run. There we go, though. This is attempt one. And we got to take it straight up the middle and make sure we break one tackle. Hopefully, we can make this happen with ease. Then again, how can I expect that to happen, you know? All right, that could have been it. Yeah, with my luck. This is going to take forever. Our offensive line seems like they stink at blocking. You better shut your mouth. Defensive line's a little bit more spread, but they brought a blitz. Why? Why do you got to do that? This is already more difficult than I thought. Like, we haven't even made it into the secondary yet. Be great for me. Just once here. Looking good. Break the tackle and score. This is actually a little bit demoralizing. Who is their safety? I mean, he's been locking me down. All right. A lot of room here. Turns into nothing, though. Can somebody please make a little bit of sense out of this? This is not supposed to be that tough. Broken tackle. Go, 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 go. Yes! That counts. That's good. Right up the middle. Broken tackle. Exactly what we ordered. You can celebrate. I don't remember if you did it or not. Irrelevant. That's play number nine. Thank you very much. Penalties helped, especially on Will Harris. As Aaron Jones breaks loose. Aaron Jones. He's headed for the end zone. And he's going to be in with a Packer touchdown. At number eight, we got another one of these plays. It's probably going to be slept on a little bit because it wasn't a touchdown, but DJ Shark went up big in double coverage to come down with a bomb from Minshew. Remember, again, not a touchdown, just a really big play. All right. Uh, hmm. This way, we got the accuracy with the play action. Minshew stays in. He one. That's a very slow route. And there we go. Bomb it. Get a second guy over there and come down. That would have that been pretty good. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Can't wait too long, though. Two guys here. Catch it. Nope. Oh. Another try here. Oh, jeez. There's two defenders for sure. Oh, came down with it. That's not too bad. I like that a lot, actually. That was a pretty good play. Let's go ahead and roll the replay for DJ Shark. He was in for 47 plays last week out of 80 at altitude. Minshew deep. Shark is down there. Shark's got it. After that play number seven, David Moore, incredible pylon catch on a defender. I don't know how this man ended up getting his feet down. This play happened around the 37 on the hash. The play itself is pretty simple. Sit back, throw one to Moore right on the sideline right there. Oh, I don't think he got his feet down. It wasn't in the end zone, but holy moly though. If that's how things are going to be, you know what? I will absolutely take that. Can we throw it to the sideline, please? Don't tell me what to do. Let's not waste time playing games like that. There we go. Man, oh, wow. Russ is going to be able to fit it in good. Keep going for it here, though. Again, Russ. Not sideline. Go way right. Come down. Come down. Come on. Not no one-handed. We're not doing this. Come on. How much do we expect to come down with this? Okay, that's way too far. Help me out here. Going for accuracy. Boom. No. That's right there, dude. 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 Oh, my God. We don't need to do that. 
Not necessary at all. Boom! Oh, his feet were out. That was it. I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to actually get his body turned around for a catch. Bam. Oh, we dropped that one. Probably somewhere around 30 tries right now. Make that 31 in a terrible pass. Any luck here for 32? Maybe? Oh, he dropped it. I'm failing it, though. We can get this. No doubt. Right on the pylon. Right there. Why? I hate seeing that. So annoying. It's going to be the same animation, right? It's right in the same spot. Oh! We didn't get the same animation. Did he get both of his feet down, though? Let's find out. Russ, heave one, and... Yeah, we're in, 100%. Let's roll the official replay for this one. This game is all about this. Here they are again. They took Gilmore out for one play. Back in. Wilson goes the other way. He's got field, and it will be caught for the touchdown. David Moore. After that play number six, now maybe there's a little bit of bias here, but guess what? I don't care. Chase Claypool, 86-yard touchdown. Hey, why is my guy only a 70 overall? We need to get that bumped up immediately. Well, good luck with that. This ball is going to be set up all the way down here on the 16, if I could find it. There we go. I mean, this play is just simple. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Ben, sideline pass to Claypool. We catch it in stride. Don't get touched. Run 86 yards of the house and score. I just got to make sure that we can make that happen. And I got to throw it closer to the sideline. Yeah, like that. There we go. There we go. Yeah, come on. You got to catch it and run up field. Beat him. There we go. There we go. There we go. That sideline. That's kind of right there. Oh, I'm going to have to swerve catch that guy. You know that? That's looking good. I can't lock on for some reason and run the rest of that route. That's going to bother me. All right, I waited a little bit longer on that one. That's way too far downfield, though. There we go. I'm able to move. Yup. Yup. Nope. He's already driving me crazy. I swear. This could actually be it. See little window we have just the fact of how easy that this one should have been i'm frustrated dang you know what get in that counts didn't get touched by anybody else chase claypool 86 yards he actually did kind of break a tackle during the play too so that actually worked out pretty well let's roll the replay for this one from the 16 down the far sideline he's got his man that ball is caught by claypool and claypool to the end zone for the touchdown after that, DK Metcalf on the league's best corners to find Gilmore. I know you guys seen this, but this is a heck of a catch. This is the play. Metcalf's in the perfect position. Gilmore's in the perfect spot. Hello there. All we have to do is fit in a perfect pass, contested catch like this would be it if he caught that and got in. The only reason why I picked this one over the Moore catch is just because of how impressive that it was that Metcalf held his own against Stephon Gilmore. We all know Gilmore. Wait, why does he have his X Factor? Are you kidding? What the heck? I don't even know what to do. I, I feel like he's going to have this the entire time, too. That's the frustrating part. Well, anyways, because I feel like I don't have another choice, we're just going to go for it. Oh, he dropped it. That was it. Kind of. Sort of. A little bit. Maybe. Sorry, guys. I'm going for 10 of these this week, so I got to be a little bit more lenient with myself. And the fact that he has that thing, you got to cut me some slack, too. Okay. More outside, maybe? No oh, okay. Let's try that again. Give it more lob to help him get outside. Catch it, catch it, come on. Maybe I go for the rat catch. Maybe that's what I have to do. Okay. Boom. Whoa. Bad idea. You know what? I'm taking a new play. I gotta try something a little bit different here. I know the play doesn't look the same, but this should be a little bit better. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Wait, what? He bumped into somebody, but he's going. He's going. Oh, we got tackled. Of course we did. This is good, though. That's a really good sign I don't mind to see. Stepping up. A little bit of an advantage. Catches it, broken tackle. That's it. That's accurate. I am so happy with that. Let's roll this replay. If anybody watched this real time, you know. I think there was a little broken tackle at the end of the play in real life, too. And Carson into the slot. Stays in the block. Wilson, good as he throws deep down field. It's going to be caught by Metcalf for the touchdown. Up next, Kansas City Chiefs and Tyreek Hill going deep somersault into the end zone. Somehow he wasn't touched. I don't know how we're going to be able to recreate this. I'm going to do the best that I can. I hope we at least like tumble over whenever we fall into the end zone. I don't know. We'll see. This is going to be a tough one. Roll out Mahomes. Wait for Tyreek Hill to go down deep downfield. I don't know how we're going to manage. The somersault thing's like the most important thing. The problem with that is... The fact I'm not sure if it's possible. As a matter of fact, this is one of the ones that scares me the most, whether or not we're even going to come close. You never know, though. I'm going to keep going until we get something good. We have to get this deep, though. These throws that we've been giving them have been terrible up to this point. Whoa! Go, 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 go. Come on, that's deep enough? Not even close, though. Hey, Tyreek, what's it to you? Oh, he went up big. Bosa's chasing us. He almost killed Mahomes. 
We're really just not getting it deep enough. I thought that this wouldn't be an issue. You were wrong. We're gonna be doing this forever, aren't we? Give me some of that. Uh -huh. This Chargers defense killing me. And nope, we're definitely not getting in here. Uh-uh, I got nearly sacked. This is better. We aren't doing any sort of somersault. What the heck am I gonna do? I'm so clueless. Three, two, one. Nope, this one's just as bad. Come on, do the ting, do the ting on the run. Letting it up. All right, what is this? Oh, you know what? Some sort of somersault. We're pausing it there. I think that's as close as we're gonna get. And that took entirely too long for me to get that. Let's roll the replay. That's a huge position to be in. He's gonna get very terse in that building. Mahomes down the field, yes, and he's up and in, bouncing off the ground for the touchdown. Tyreek Hill. Next play, Omari Cooper, big time, one-handed snag. Now I know this play wasn't a touchdown, but it was so significant in the fact that this really led the comeback, it seemed like. The tough part is, and I'm not sure how we're gonna do is we gotta make sure we get a one-handed, he just, what? So help me if that keeps happening. One-hander, oh! Oh, already? That's textbook. That's 100%. I don't think a recreation gets any better than that. I really don't. That took me three tries, ladies and gentlemen. And that was accurate, too. If you watch the real playback, you're going to think, hey, that's a really good one, Tom. Thank you very much. Roll the replay. We don't have a wide enough shot to show you, but we counted, and that's why it was a very interesting call. So a big sequence in that game. Put an earmark on it. Prescott trying to take advantage. Going deep. Cooper. Oh, one-hander. Are you kidding me? The next play was the same game, believe it or not. I'm going with the onside kick the Cowboys had. The reason why this is number two and not number one is because it's probably more of a fail than a great play. Now, let's be real. How good am I actually going to be able to get this? Here's the thing, right? There's really only one way to kick the ball for an onside. Did I just get, I just, Got the onside kick. There we go. Done. There she goes. I'll keep going and try to get one that's a little bit more accurate. But what I was going to say is as dumb as the computers are in this game, they're at least not dumb enough to know to pick up the football. There is just no physical way that I'm going to be able to back everybody off on the Falcons to get that slow, beautiful roll. But I feel like in commemoration of this insane play, we're just gonna try to pick up an onside kick and call it that. Also, I probably should have kept the first one that we had. I'll be real, that's pretty dumb on my part, knowing how difficult these are to get. The only way we're getting is if they muff it like that and we get it, which we didn't, so we were like 50% of the way there. Oh no, Dan Quinn, it's an onside kick. Am I gonna do it? Yes. No. No, don't do it. I'll be real. We're probably going to skip to whenever I get this because number one, it's really not going to be that accurate. It's going to get really repetitive. I'm recreating that play that the uh, Cowboys got whenever they got the onside kick. And oh, went storming that's outside. Funny. <laughs> and guess what? Yeah. You're not going to be able to because uh, I don't even think a game is that stupid. That's what I said. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did I get it? Did I freaking get it? Did I get it? Hey, I got it. Let's go. Hey, roll the replay. Rest in peace, Falcons. Their line will squibber. It's got to go 10 yards, and it's close. Their line may have come through. Who's got it? The Cowboys have it. Do you believe that? All right, I'm going to be real. I'm just going to cut to the chase here. I've been experimenting to try to be as efficient as possible. Spent over the last 45 minutes trying to figure out the best way to go about doing this is. And I wanted to make sure it was possible because, you know, wasting my time. Is a real thing with these. Regardless though, I got to be at least a couple hundred attempts in. I found the play, found the right way to do it, and I actually executed this a couple times. Except there was one problem. LJ Fort wasn't the one that scored the touchdown. Here we are though, and I'll explain the setup in just a minute. Yes, I'm using two controllers. No way! No way! That was my first try recording. If I would have pulled that off, how sick. I actually just can't believe that because that's the closest that I've gotten the entire time. And that would have been just epic if we pulled that off on our first try. Now we can get hit sticks. We can get the fumbles. Okay. I put the fumbling down. Okay. This challenge is hard enough as it is. I'm being real with everybody. I would like to point out that I ended up going all out for this. I even switched Kiki Kute's position to tight end so he could be the one running the route and fumbling the football. Let's go for this again there. There's the pass. There's the hit stick. He likes doing that a lot. He likes missing the ball. I feel like I'm just getting trolled. There has been a few times where I've forgotten to switch controllers and whatnot. See, now this is what normally happens. 
See what I mean? I, we nearly got that, and that wasn't him. So, again, those don't count. Really, though, if you think about it, Marlon Humphrey's my biggest enemy number one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. We got it. We got it. We, we didn't get anywhere with it, though. It really doesn't have to be like this, and he doesn't have to... Deshaun, does he miss passes like that? Yes. I will warn you, though. There's going to be a point where I just shut up and just start going for this. This will be great. This will be great. You're, you're gotta go right. All right. Boom. Is that for it? That is for it, but he's down. Trust me, if you haven't already, you'll sense the frustration a little bit later. Especially knowing how close that I got that one time. Is that us? Oh, it's Humphrey. Switching controller. That's not too bad. Go. Go! Yes! Die! That counts! That's great! That's the top play of the week! That went well. That's a really good recreation, too. Rank that one out of 10 in the comments. In the meantime, though, let's go ahead and roll this instant replay. Knoxville a block, sharpening a block. Here goes the elusive Watson. Upfield he goes. Oh, QT dropped the ball. That's picked up and brought in by LJ Ford and the former Stewart to the 10. Stiff arms to the 5, to the pylon, and he's short by a yard. By the way, I know they said out of bounds. It was reviewed and was later rolled a touchdown, so don't give me that. Hopefully, if I remember this time, the link to the top plays will be in this video's description. And for everybody that made it to the end of this video, this will mean the world to me. We're not even supposed to be coming out with it yet. My sisters and I have been working on a little family project. We made custom stickers. I'm signing a ton of them. They're really cheap. We're not charging that much for them. It would mean the world if you could go ahead and check the link in this video's description. Like I said, it's just a little family project that we're working on. So if you had a couple bucks to spare, I wouldn't mind checking it out. This one would mean a ton to me. Like I said, we're not making a ton of money off of these. We just thought of something small that'd be cool to kind of give back to you guys that haven't had merch. I know hoodies and stuff are more expensive, so this is definitely on the cheaper end. By the way, all the signatures on these, yes, I signed them all myself. I can't thank you enough for your support for a week three. Hit that like button, hit the bell, get ready. I'm sure it's going to be another crazy week of top plays, and I will see you very soon with another episode of these. Don't forget to keep God first. I'm your boy Pizza, and I'll see you later. Deuces!